When I found out that I was gonna be on All Stars, I was through the roof. Raspberry, raspberry, raspberry. <laughs> Did somebody order a hooker? <laughs> uh. My biggest weakness last time was that I truly didn't believe in myself. This time around, it's gonna be different because I'm fabulous. I'm Latrice mother Royale. <laughs> Get those nuts away from my face. <laughs> Like that. Latrice mother Royal. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Pandora Box, you look stunning in her black and white. She stepped it up. Girl, I want to know who they're going to bring up in here. <laughs> it's a lot of attitudes and a lot of divas. Pandora and I, we are Miss Congeniality. So I'm waiting to see what bitches lurk behind the door. Baby, I'm an all star. I'm Jara Sophia. Swallow it. Oh, 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 almost burned my ass. <laughs> yes, mommy. Yara Sofia. La Perez in the house. Zanier than ever. Miss Congeniality. Ah, enchilada. <laughs> I don't think you have enough jewelry, bitch. I look like the Puerto Rico's very own Jill Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> To be part of the chosen few, I feel very privileged. When I competed last time, everybody thought I was this arrogant bitch. I am beautiful. Hello, hello. Oh. Hey. What's up? Do you like it? It's a little something something, girl. That bitch has on everything. Something subtle for the daytime. No, you know. I've got a sassy attitude, wit, humor. I am an all-star. I'm a man in a dress. I'm a psychological Oh, woman. OK. <laughs> Let's do this, bitches. Yes! All-star! Yes, baby. I know the four queens sitting there as I walk in are thinking, this bitch looks good. Love your dress. Raven walked in from a cocktail party, it looks like. Thanks for trying, girl. Bam, bitches. Alexis Mattel is back. Bam, bam, bam. I'm a black queen. <laughs> that jig is up, bitches. Wow. Look at you, all cross-dressers looking cute. <laughs> I'm hoping to achieve the crown. That's the only thing that I didn't achieve on season four. Cher is here. I spread La Mer on my toast in the morning. <laughs> I'm Cher, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Hunger Games, bitches. <laughs> All right. Competition's on. Hold on. I'm getting a call on my Bluetooth. It's Sharon. <laughs> you what? You want to give me my $100,000 back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watching Chad play with his little earring, I'm thinking, this bitch is kind of bitter. I am an all-star because I'm the fiercest drag queen around. Gag. Don't try for me, Pilipinos. Yes. Oh. 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 See, this is how you do drag, girls. <laughs> as soon as Manela was in the room, I still know that Manela is annoying. Oh, I'm so glad you covered up your face. <laughs> I think I could win All-Stars because I'm a well-rounded, fierce queen. This time around, I will not pick nobody up. It's time for America to see who I really am. Ah! Life is like a paycheck. A generous figure is always nice. Rise up, my daddy! Oh, are you kidding me? Get the out of here. Mimi mother I'm first walks up in this bitch. Why? Someone's got to go home first. <laughs> I think people are surprised to see me. But I look good. I didn't want season one because I needed to be here to win All Stars. 
You have made this competition so much better by being a part of it. Loka! 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 <laughs> Nina Flowers is a legend. I just love to look at Nina. She's like eye candy. Bitches, we're making history, okay? <laughs>
After my season, a lot of people had this perception of me, so it was hard to get bookings. People genuinely thought I would come and like cuss them out, so it took a lot of work to show people that I'm professional. I'm just really worried about kicking your ass off the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've changed my ways. No sabotaging this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my drag has changed. My makeup has changed. I stopped tanning. I want the world to see that I have changed. <laughs> Just over with. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, the glamour toad is in the building. Where in England are you from, Adele? My house. <laughs> I flood my basement, bitch. Ginger Minge is back with a vengeance, baby. It's a whole new me. Oh, <laughs> you got a pose by the Sue competition. Oh my God, it's good to see you, diarrhea. <laughs> Season seven got a lot of hate for being a lackluster bunch of girls. So I am here to say, no, Miss Thang. We are just as talented and worthy as the rest of these girls. You look so much better with half of your face covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm supposed oh, to be nice this time. Look Everyone so. looks so beautiful. <laughs> I'm wearing a corset, though. <laughs> Apparently, all it takes to win is a corset, so I bought ah. one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> will they, though? Will no, they, they will not. not. Thick and Juicy's back, bitches. Ah. My name is Roxy Andrews, and I still rep for the girls who are thick and juicy, because even though I lost weight, I'm always thick and juicy. I don't care if I'm 300 pounds or 200 pounds, thick and juicy is Roxy Andrews. I am so excited to be here today. <laughs> All that ass. Bam. So what has been your favorite moment throughout this competition? Seeing you in the bottom two. On season five, I let the competition get the best of me, and I was playing messy. So I have a lot to prove I can compete and win because I deserve it and not because I'm knocking people out by playing mind games. Stop, <laughs> yes, bitch! Oh my god, my baby Roxy's here. Yes. Not the Rotox. <laughs> when I saw Detox, I was like, bitch, we get to do this again. That's my girl. There's a lot of you season fives here. That's funny because no I think four, four put it on the map. Oh. oh. <laughs> put it on the map, but we just hit it out of the park. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. Aren't you girls happy to see me? The face crack of the century. <laughs> Bitch, that was so three years ago. Yeah! <laughs> Girl, we had buried the hatch. We put it in the ground 12 feet under. She ain't coming back out, okay? Come on, season five! Right. Yeah! I am Coco Montrese. I was the lip sync diva of season five. Girl, you look like the black Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Girl, look how orange your <laughs> look. I'm not joking, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you got your Dorito fantasy? Yes, Let me see. <laughs> look how orange I look. <laughs> I'm not joking, bitch. Girl, you're covering your face in that hat. Show them that pretty skin. It ain't that orange. Girl, that's custom couture made. In a garage. <laughs> Some girls don't change their makeup. It's the same black eyeshadow and the same lipstick. I am not gonna say no names, Roxy Andrews. Greetings. My message for the human race is really quite simple. I think I was chosen as an all-star because nobody can do Alaska except Alaska. But I encourage you to try. It's fun. I just wrote anus. <laughs> Lil Pound Cake enjoys being a straight up mother <laughs> pig. <laughs> I will stand out from the rest of these queens because I am more all and I'm more star-like. Star-ish. Star-esque. Mwah. Mwah. I just came from Party City. <laughs> <laughs> I have a group on, girl. <laughs> Don't we look pretty? Oh, five from five. Oh, five, girl. Yeah, five five okay. from five. Season five all over. Last time I was here, I was concerned about my relationship and how people were perceiving me. And now it's just me. And I'm focused and galvanized and ready to take the crown. Morgan McMichaels walks into the... Wait, that's not 
Morgan. My name's Tatiana. I placed fourth on season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This suspense is boring me to pay for it. Tyra is a complete bitch. What's up, oh, Bitch! Kylie Jenner. She is beat. I think the other queens are thinking, all oh, this is really right. Girl, how excited are you to be back up in this gig? I'm so ready. You're the only two here. Tatiana might be the weakest link only because she's kind of like the old school. She's from the old batch of, you know, drag race, and drag has changed so much since her season. Come on, season two, let's get big me! Come on through season two. <laughs> if they had watched season two, they should know not to underestimate me, because it doesn't really work out in the end. Thank you. Meow. Yay! Oh, 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 yeah! My name is Adore Delano, and I'm a messy slut. <laughs> I'm known for being really messy. Give me one that Logan will actually sign off on. Oh, okay. Because big dicks and fried chicken. It was very subtle. I'm a Libra. Lack my body. Are you cinched? Um, I have a hog body right now. I'm hood, I'm from Azusa, I'll stab a bitch. <laughs> All right! <laughs> <laughs> bitch! Hi! <laughs> hey, Adore Delano, giving you smell my punani poetic justice realness. Adore cilantro. Mwah! Mwah! Yes! What? Is that an orange? I like that. Yeah! Oh, what is? I want to look like a monster oh, hydra. <laughs> My drag style today is a bit controversial. I'm inspired by the grunge movement, the riot girl movement of the 90s, but a lot of people don't get that. They like to say that I'm lazy about my drag, but I love being a nonconformist. I mean, I can't crowd surf in a corset. Who's ready to make team? No. Please, no teams. I f up alone by myself. <laughs> oh, honey. Whew. That's how I roll. <laughs> That is such a f waste. That would have killed if someone was here. I'm Trixie Mattel, and I am the crownless drag superstar from season seven. I came here to eclipse people with my talent, but also with my hair. There's nobody in here. It's like a Morgan Michaels meet and greet. I feel like in the real world, I've been a real all-star. But on Drag Race, I was not an all-star. Howdy, y'all. You went for the comedy gold, but all we got was bronze. I need to make amends for the fact that I came in here and just hit the cement and got dragged out like a dead body. Twice. It's not about falling, it's about getting back up. I just farted. <laughs> hey kids, daddy's home. Play me my Dairy Queen. The milk fans will remember my outside of the carton. See the joke there? Outside of the carton thinking. She's got a real nose for fashion. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Thinking about wearing facial hair. Hope you're packed. I don't regret anything that I did because it got me into a Marc Jacobs ad campaign. It got me notoriety. She was cover girl. French Vogue. I cannot believe you showed up here. Don't so good to see me. you. <laughs> I very much expected to see Trixie here. Woo! Like myself, she really proved that she was an all-star off the show. But she sort of sucks in comparison to me. Wake up, wake up, wake up. This ain't no dream. I'm back to the Bayou Queen. Did it just get swampy in here? I'm Chi Chi Devane, and y'all girls better get ready, because I'm ready. I told y'all stay ready. My mama read. Who's Anna Glamour? Who doesn't like old smoked turkey nick, baby? You turned it completely out. Tell me why you're out here in a bathing suit with no corset and a belt. I don't have the expenses to pay for something like this. You don't need money, girl. That's never an excuse. Ah! <laughs> hey, baby. I was a trash bag queen that had a heart of gold, and I just wasn't polished enough. But this time, I got my mind together. I got my drag together. It's all together, girls. Oh, oh, oh. Hat coming off. Is this trash? Trash bags. I thought garbage day was Tuesday. Chi Chi's here, and she wore garbage again. And also trash bags. <laughs> that hat is your inner saboteur, and I want you to let it go. 
I think I just broke my ankle doing that. <laughs> my name is Thorgy Thor. I was on season eight and I made top six, or some of my enemies like to say bottom seven. I'm colorful, I'm fun, and I'm the fashion clown. Woo! I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, please shut up. <laughs> An issue I dealt with on season eight is that I'm constantly distracted by everything, but I think 50% of it was just because Bob never shuts up. And since the show, i found ways to focus. Oh. I think I'm going crazy. Oh, there is one. Sorry, that's going to drive me insane. Ah! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, God. All season eight, Thorgy complained that she didn't win because it was the Bob show. OK, girl, ain't no Bob here. Let's see what you got. Is this yours? Yeah. Can I try this? That's what you should have um, come in. Can I have this? Miss <laughs> Thorgy Thor made top four. You did. <laughs> I look pretty good for a dead bitch. She's alive. My name is Morgan McMichaels. I'm from season two, and I am here to rock the sh out of All Star season three, babe. You can't kill evil that easy. He's a punk dude. Rock and roll, baby. I wonder what everyone's going to look like out of drag. Hope some of you are attractive boys like me. <laughs> Go fix your hair. I don't fix need your to, mug. I don't need to fix yeah, my no, mug, bitch. Honey, you do need to fix your mug. On season two, I was very blunt with my opinions, and I still kind of have that to this day. You know me, sharp-tongued. Yeah! Hi. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Morgan being here is definitely intimidating. She's a workhorse. She's probably the only girl that works seven days a week in Hollywood at every club, so she's definitely going to be one to beat. I feel like I'm thanking a veteran for their service, because we wouldn't be here if you weren't. Far from a country. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is this look? It's my Jen and Pinocchio look. I'm here to inspire future challenges. Oh. One thing I'm not a big fan of is diva -dom. I'm gonna have to smack that bitch down a little bit. Good cast so far. Who's gonna f it up? Hey, yo, Oh, Lord. I have some unfinished business. Trixie, she told your act. Oh. No, you have to wait oh. there. <laughs> I f it up every time. My name is Aja, and I'm here to f it up. I'm sorry, I am. Your makeup is a very dark. She could walk out there in a diaper. And they're like, Valentina, your smile is beautiful. I just don't feel like you should be Miss Congeniality. Oh, my Great. God. <laughs> Walking into season nine, I was thinking I was the and I was going to win. And I was like, oh, yes, I got this. And then the challenges and the runways came along. And I was like, I don't look that good. I'm not doing that good. I'm not feeling that good. And then I went home. She got her lips done, too. I had my lips, my cheeks, my chin, my skin. What? I had Botox in my forehead. You're a drag queen who got more chin? Well, bitch, I didn't have one to begin with. I was having, like, the Alyssa Edwards, like, season five chin, like, the non-existent one. I kind of felt like the ugly duckling of season nine. But I think in a weird way, it really did benefit me to get criticized by the world. I mean, look at her. I am HD ready. There is no face tune here. Bitch, they're going to be telling me my smile is beautiful. Watch. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's me, Bendela Krim. Again. <laughs> my name is Bendela Krim, and I placed fifth on season six. I am wearing a repurposed version of the gown that I wore where I was crowned season six Miss Congeniality. I've just been sleeping in it and spooning my Miss Congeniality sash and weeping into my overstock gift certificate for the last four years. <laughs> Bendel Krem is terminally delightful. Excuse me, we originated the language. <laughs> Bitch, so your look. <laughs> Bendel Krem Visage. <laughs> This time I'm here to get that crown that I didn't get the first time, but I'm also here to show that you can win with kindness and integrity rather than be a bitch. Oh, crap. Is this an intervention? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm very good. <sighs> ben, you're still alive. She sort of fell off the face of the earth for a while. I thought she just grew a beard, ran into the woods, was sort of just terminally delightful to the squirrels. How do you feel being back? 
I was super nervous to come back. Wait, why were you nervous? Because I was so fantastic the first time. I was like, how do I live up to that? <laughs> Bandy LaCreme's a little recycled. You know, we've seen it. I mean, the Miss Congeniality to rest. That shit is out the door. That was how many seasons ago? Like, don't worry about trying to be that. Try to get the crown. Uh-oh. Round two, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kennedy Davenport from season seven. The dancing diva of Texas is back, baby. <laughs> and I'm dancing my way to the top. Newark, LaGuardia, Kennedy Davenport. Uh -huh. oh, shut up. <laughs> I've been in this business for 17 long years. I don't think the other girls are ready. That is a opinion. You either take it or you don't. You know what? I can be an adult and say that I may have been a little bitchy sometimes, but since the season, things have changed. I've grown. Where are my sisters at? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Kennedy Davenport. Oh. Hey. We have developed kind of a mother-daughter relationship. I get compared to Kennedy all the time. You better come through, Whoville. Oh my God, the look is white noise of ugly. In fact, it's very Chi Chi. I think Kennedy is Chi Chi from the future coming back to tell her she's not gonna win All-Stars. Bitch, they are the same person. What's going on, everybody? So I'm sorry, I am just staring so at my reflection in you. I know, so I know. Vain. Don't get too blind, honey. <laughs> Well, hello, who could this be? Hey! Looks like the box got an upgrade, and so did I. Hallelujah, I'm back, bitches! Again. Hey! I'm Shangela. Baby, I'm a double kind of hoe. I was on season two and three. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, lady! Oh. He's so gay, and he's so good. They always say, la cuepa. I say what? You haven't irrepressible energy, but can energy make up for a lack of experience? I think the biggest misconception about my drag was that I wasn't trying hard. And I swear, girl, y'all, I was trying my hardest. But come to find out, you actually do need to know something about makeup and hair and costumes in order to be a full, well-rounded queen. Oh. What's up, bitches? Oh, hallelujah to you. Oh, God. If I here, hallelujah, one more damn time. I cannot stand it. She's a hallelujah lunatic. Season two's in the house. Yeah. I was there too. One day, Very but briefly. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you are back again and again. again. 47th time. 47th time. Well, 47th. Since season three, y'all know I stepped it into high gear and became a true professional. I've worked in television. I've worked in film. I have been able to headline my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm not baby Shanji anymore. Chad in Alaska, maybe make room for me in that Hall of Fame. So there's our two season twos. Yep. Yeah. Let's do some more season five girls. Ew. Feel like there hasn't been enough. <laughs> Miss Phoebe, Zaha, Benet. <laughs> Hello, my beauties. My name is Bibi Zahara Benet, and you may not recognize me, but I am the very first crown queen of RuPaul's Drag Race. Face, 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 I get face, beauty face, Cameroon. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race is BB. Cameroon is back. Honey, the face, the look, the mean. Miss Moni Cart, reclaiming my time, reclaiming my crown. RuPaul, where's my check at? Hello, America. Your girl is back, Moni Cart, the heart of season 10. And honey, she is what? Brown cow starting. Bitch, I'm the first one. Now facts are facts, world. When Beyonce walks into the room, you know she's there. I know I'm that girl. And, uh, I need to weigh in. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. My issue on season 10 was not talent. Oh, oh. My issue was money. Where other queens have a large repertoire of drag to choose from, I came to this competition with glitter and Jesus. There's my giraffe. You said giraffe, but I got brown cows. Stunning. <laughs> Since season 10, the good Lord made sure that I shimmy good enough to pay the designer, honey. And now that money and costumes are not the issue, that crown is mine. Who's the next bitch? Yes! 
The body is back! I'm Trinity Taylor, top four from season nine. <laughs> Did I say Trinity Taylor? Sorry. I just feel like Trinity Taylor's so boring. I am Trinity the Tuck, and this Tuck has teeth. <laughs> Before season nine, I was old school pageant, the body girl. My name is Trinity, and can't you see? I've got a lot of puzzle parts up in me. It was a huge surprise to me that I could do comedy. My name is Stangy the Starfish. <laughs> I'm addicted to speed, too. <laughs> This time, I'm confident that I'm the whole package. I made it to top four the last time, and now I'm here to win. I am a super queen. Just tell me what this look. This, this is, is all zip eyes, eyes, bitch. Come through the house. Yeah. Down, bitch. I made a plastic, might as well wear plastic, bitch. <laughs> Trinity is ultra fierce competition, and I thought she was winning season nine. I really did. So the pressure is on. You can't spell legendary without leg. My name is Naomi Small, the legs of season eight. Come on, legs! You know when this tall bitch walks through the room exactly who she is. She's glowing, she's shining. She's flexible. She's on the stilts. <laughs> Naomi is a fashion girl. She's fierce. Very cosmopolitan. I just thought it was perfection. America's first drag president must speak at Sorry. Cut. It's all about attitude. Now I'm gonna look at you as a model. You're gonna take great photos, but that does not take talent. Even though I made it all the way to the top three, a lot of people still think I'm just a tall, pretty fashion model. I oh, yeah. oh, got it! So I'm gonna seize this opportunity to show the world that I'm not just this beauty queen. There's only one crown, and it's mine. Damn her ways. Thank you. I don't really know what to expect of Naomi. She's beautiful, young, creative, but Naomi doesn't have a very big personality, and you either stand out or you get out. Thank God you're pretty. Guess who's black in the house, bitch? Yes! I am one exchange of season 10, your current reigning Miss Congeniality. I am here to slay, and until I smash that crown, a bitch brought her own. So get up, bitches! Monet exchange. Monet is on a roll. Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> In season 10, I thought I was going all the way. And I was really surprised that I didn't win any challenges. The looks seem homemade, really sloppy. If I could go back in time, one thing that I would change for my season would be my rickety crickety runways, girl, so I could have some challenge wins. I want a challenge win. Yes, yes. You nasty queen. I'm excited to see my season 10 sister. I feel like both of us have something to prove. But this is All Stars 4. A black jumpsuit like a leotard, it's not stunning. Hail Mary. Step aside, boys, because the real queen is here. My name is Gia Gunn. I'm from season six, and this fresh tilapia is now seasoned. G -g 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 Gia! Gia CCC. Crazy cuckoo. Are you in a white snake video? I'm feeling my oats. I'm Darian Lake. My god, there's room for everybody. I could tell that you're the feisty one. Absolutely. There's still a big percentage of the world who thinks of Geogun as the absolutely let me feel my old shady character. But since season six, I did a huge self-discovery and drag was the gateway for me to realize that I am not a man that dresses up as a woman. I'm a woman that participates in the art of drag. Y'all got the same look. No, -uh, yes, she do. got a crown of thorns on. That means we about to crucify her real soon. <laughs> it feels amazing to be back in the workroom as the proud trans woman that I am. So get ready because she's here. Yes, God. Thank God I didn't add any more roses. <laughs> her look may be similar to mine, but honey, there's a big difference. Mine is couture and hers is just hot glue. I saw you on Botched. Yeah, yeah, girl. Yes, you did. I just saw a monster. I said, that's my sister. <laughs> girl, Gia's going to let everybody have it. She is shady. She's not the same person. She's worse. That's <laughs> <laughs> the crybaby's back. <laughs>
I'm Farrah Moan from season nine, and I'm here to moan and groan my way to the top, honey. Oh. Farrah Moan. I like the peekaboo. Are you feeling lucky? On season nine, I felt prematurely cast only because I was so young. Mo, I don't want to do this. She whines like a six-year-old. She knows she's a cute girl, but there's nothing more than that yet. Oh. I think a lot of people still see me as the scared, whiny, <laughs> little 22-year-old girl. But I just want to show people that I am now a ferocious, fierce 25-year-old. <laughs> oh my god, it's Christina Aguilera, girl. <laughs> Farrah Moan is one of the most stunning queens I've ever seen. She has more Instagram followers than a lot of these bitches do. Oh my god! Oh my god. Miss Farrah is gorgeous, let's tell facts. But America? If you're gonna have your ass out, it's supposed to look like J-Lo, not like Mr. Rogers. I see that they went straight from eight to six, so we're skipping seven. Let's all praise the Lord for that. Hey, Jizz. Oh! I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. Oh! I am back for All Stars 4, you junkie whores! For those of you who don't remember me, I was on season seven. Jasmine Masters, your personality is off the hook. Where did you get a loaf of bread? <laughs> Watch out, sisters. Oh. Head cheerleader. Hair, hair cheerleader. I've never seen a car crash like this before. I don't want to hear any goddamn excuses. Be prepared. Ah! Oh hey, bitch! <laughs> you know, there's a lot of queens, a lot of fans out there who don't believe that I'm a great drag queen. But since I've been on the show, I became the meme queen. And I'm always in somebody's video or a clip. You know, I don't understand why people breath your mother stank it and they don't taste it. You, go, you don't taste that? The meme queen is back to snatch the crown. Oh, look at you, you're still beautiful, you tall bitch. Get out of my face. I'm gagged to see Jasmine Masters back because she did so poorly on her season, but that bitch dug herself out of a grave with those vines and Instagram videos, and the bitch is so funny. So you were you were season seven? Yes. That's the season you wanted to skip. Oh, really? Well, but, I, but if, if anybody, at least we got Jasmine, you know what I mean? What is it from season seven that we were not looking forward to seeing? <laughs> season seven was a pretty boring <laughs> season. And season nine, y'all were next on the list. So don't oh, oh, no, ma'am. Y'all were a little. No, no, <laughs> no, bitch. I call shade, bitch. Everyone thinks that their season is the best of the best. But Monet ain't got half the talent that the girls from season nine had, honey. Season nine, it's about to slay. Season nine was just fine, OK? Uh, fan favorite is here. It's you, Valentina. I'm glamour, high fashion, a Latin American diva. And this is the Valentina Confessional Look 2.0. Sus! We have a beautiful designer beret by Dior. And look at this manicure. I'm ready for my close-up. Oh. Linda Evangelista. I like it. Stop! Take that thing off of your mouth. I'd like to keep it on, please. It's a lip sync. What part of that do you not understand? After my elimination on season nine, I felt the weight of being a failure. But eventually, I took it as motivation. And since my season, I've had the opportunities of working with American Vogue, Vogue Mexico. I don't really intend on being known forever as the person that doesn't know how to lip sync. Let's do a conga line. Ding, 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 ding. I'm surprised you know the words to that song. Oh, oh girl, whatever. How do you feel seeing so many season nine girls? I feel good. We were a close-knit season, despite the reunion. <laughs> <laughs> we were such close friends, and you have not spoken to me in almost five months. Text me, call me, let's talk I about it. I have texted you, you ignore my text. I respect you and love you. Um, you don't love me. I know that everybody wants the fun little telenovela, Valentina versus Farah, you don't love me fantasy. However, she's apologized. I have apologized, and I feel like we're on the route to a better relationship. Do you even have her phone number? Yeah! She's Naomi. texting me back now. <laughs> in the eyes of some, I am Miss Congeniality. And in the eyes of other people, I'm a snake. But I just know I'm both because I know I can be really nice, but I always love the villain. Oh, 
everybody screaming? I know you're screaming, stop. I'm the large in charge, chunky and funky, Latrice mother Royale. Eat it. Look at Manila, Nila, Nila. I'm Manila Zahn. I'm the runner up from season three and uh, something up from All Stars 1. On your own, none of you were able to reach the top. So this time around, you'll be competing as teams of two. <laughs> when we did All Stars 1 in teams, it was the gagger because we weren't expecting to have to work with someone the entire season. La Trilla! This has been like the best pairing in the world because like you always know how to take it that extra step beyond. And I love that. Manila and Latrice, sashay away. This time is gonna be different. Black. I'm Shay Kule. I know y'all have missed me, but it's okay. Wow, Rue. Love what you've done with the place. She's a great dancer. She's a great entertainer. She's a great actress. Oh, 23 skidoo. <laughs> I won four challenges on season nine. Vote, bitch. <laughs> I felt really confident that I had it in the bag. This was my spot on season nine. Feels kind of lucky. I was really confident. <laughs> but as those rose petals fell at the season nine finale, it was like watching my dreams just fall right out of my hands. I felt like such a disappointment. I'm sorry, my dear. This is not your time. <sighs> Mine. This time, I came to win. Season nine was a taste. That was the amuse-bouche. We're about to get into the entree. We might even get a little dessert, and they're about to get served. Mm -hmm. And Crackjack! Ooh. <laughs> Guess who's cracking the house, girl? My name is Miss Cracker. I am 35 <laughs> pounds heavier than I was in season 10. Oh. Miss Cracker, if you're nasty. And I'm disgusting. <laughs> Is there a hole in the bottom of that box? Absolutely. The first time around, I did well. But I was so worried about being absolutely perfect. Cracker, you did it perfect once. You will do it that way again. I f myself. You'll never be good enough. She's too interested in trying to control how we see her. It's like, let it all hang out, bitch. Look at this woman. So this time, I'm just going to let things flow from my distorted brain. We've been trying to get together yes. and do a thing. Yeah, we're doing the biggest of things. Shea Coulee is talented, beautiful, funny, and the worst thing is she is a great person. I hate her. I thought they were going to save the best for last, and I was the opposite of right. <laughs> <laughs> Boricua in the house to take the crown. Stick me now. I'm Alexis Mateo from season three and All Stars One. Bam! 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 I'm a drag queen! Every time I counted you out, you shut me up. I am a well rounded entertainer. I can sing, I can dance, I can act, and I'm a Puerto Rican bitch. Just like the movie Gremlins, I got wet one day and have a drag baby name, Vanessa Benji Mateo. You know, when you have somebody that is that gorgeous and that messy, you know it's my daughter. Appreciate you. Cut the check later, bitch. <laughs> You're welcome. Coming into this competition, I'm older and wiser and stronger than ever. It's Alexis' world, and the rest is parking. Feathers, feathers, feathers. Put them in a zoo. Oh, exactly. I am a whole zoo today. Pretty. <laughs> Well, I do declare, Blair St. Clair is all grown up now. Bitches. <laughs> I can't. I'm Blair St. Clair from season 10, and I've finally gone through puberty. Well, almost. You look really young. <laughs> season 10 was terrifying. It's actually been really hard being here without my mom. I think I was really hiding who I was because I wanted everyone to like me. Blair, hold on, Blair. You OK? I'm good. I'm happy. I'm good. Today, I see myself as a strong bitch. She's always looking wet. <laughs> That's what your man said last night. Oh, <laughs> strong, independent bitch. 
And people need to remember that and watch out for that. Because I want to win. My drag's changed a lot, and I yeah. think some people are going to be a little shocked, but that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to shock them. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Blair Sinclair came out with some good air under her booty, baby. Why are you so cocky, girl? <laughs> she will crack under pressure, though. In a room full of ten, I'm always grand prize. She's here to save the day. <laughs> I'm Mariah Balenciaga, a.k.a. Mariah Paris, a.k.a. Mariah Successful, a.k.a. Miss Queen of All-Star Season 5. Prepare to gag on my eleganza. What? We are the ones who are innovators yes. and the driving force behind progress in humanity. Yes. She has a beautiful face. Season three, I got your poise, you're beautiful, you're elegant, but my downfall was my snatch game. That is not a wire hanger. It's a wooden hanger. It's too much. Give me my pocketbook, I'm leaving. And it's taken me almost 10 years to refine my stage presence and get back here. And they're not gonna goop me on this one, not this pageant. Good to see you. You look stunning. I want to eat you like a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, juries. More and more sparkle. Wow. Oh. oh. India 2.0 here. Remodeled, remastered, and ready for action. Surprise, bitches. It's me. It's India Fair from season three. Ow! There is a hell no storm, OK? On season three, I couldn't break through my shyness. Prison, honey. I'm still waiting for your personality to come through. Sadly, one of the only things I'm known for is being picked up by Mimi I'm First. Get her off of me! Drag is not a contact sport. But there's so much more to me, and I'm ready to show it. Season three wow. now. Yeah, season three, bitch. Oh, look at oh. this. We're a set. <laughs> <laughs> Same colors. Ooh, is this a rerun of season three? Cue Western music. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Night. Girl, I'm gonna need that. I'll trade you, bitch. Okay. Of course, I'll have to have it taken in. I'll absolutely be swimming <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jujubee from season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and season one of All Stars. Third time's the char. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, Grandma Barbie. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I've never been blown like that in my life. <laughs> Miss Jujubee, mm. you give good mouth. F you. <laughs> Tyra, was your barbecue canceled? Your grill is <laughs> I made it to top three twice. It is time to take the crown. What about Jujubee? Give me the crown, RuPaul. Can I have the crown? Please. OK, I am so dressed for all your funerals, because I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> Get ready, baby. You've aged so well. Oh, like cheese. <laughs> this Jujubee has stepped her pussy up. This is like, I am the pussy staircase. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? It's like, uh, if we were ink in a printer, it mm -hmm. like it runs out by the time it gets to right. Oh. Woo! Ooh, I did it again. I'm Derek Barry, and I'm from season eight. It's Derek, bitch. You know me. Hey, Derek! <laughs> when I first came to Drag Race, I was focused on being the best Britney Spears impersonator in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I got so used to doing one thing that I really struggled to show people what else I can do. I put myself in a Britney box, and I'm doing my best to get out of that. Since my season, I've taken my drag to a whole new realm. And now I'm coming back to show I don't just do Britney. There's also this other part of me that does all these other amazing things. Hi. Hi, Cole. How are you? Are you? Yeah. What's going on? Hi. Hey, girl. There's only one queen I don't get along with, and it's India Farah. She had got me, girl. India has these online rants that are negative. 
uh, she's toxic. Maybe she's all good with giving fake hugs, but I really don't have much to say to her. I didn't come to crash the party. I came to end it. I am Mayhem the Drama Miller from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. I think you look adorable. I'm gagging over your look. I started off strong. The creativity is off the charts. I won the first challenge, and then it kind of just went kind of like this. <laughs> when I was here for season 10, I did not push myself to the level of greatness that I know I have. I played it safe. Did you say something to your team? Um, no, because I wanted to be a, a team player. Hello, yeah. oh. season 10's in the house. This time around, I just can't hold back. I want to make believers out of the non-believers and show exactly why she got the call. You smell rich. Oh, thank oh, you, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something. Dragging something? <laughs> oh. Oh. Y'all thought I'd never get here. Sorry, I was stuck in traffic. My name is Anjana. I'm from the very first season of RuPaul's Drag Race. She look good. The one that started this whole shenanigans. Anjana! Hi. Oh, ooh, this ain't no truck stop, honey. My name is Goni Chong. Because life is a celebration. You are the winner of this challenge. <laughs> Somebody said All Stars 5? Yeah! And finally on All Stars, bitch! I'm so excited. <laughs> but I'm super nervous because everything literally has changed. But I have been changing as well. And I'm excited to show everyone my 10 year glow up. So here it is and enjoy. You're welcome. Ow, my eyes. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I mean, at least somebody <laughs> tried me. <laughs> Angina is a drag race legend. Point blank, period. Here's the tea. I hope y'all don't think that we're just here to play around. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't think so. You know. No, I, I believe you guys might bring it. Oh. oh. <laughs> you already started? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, look, you know I, I like to shoot quickly. You were also don't quick really to finish on your season, great. though. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.